What I want to tell you today is something about the manual meat grinders we get on the market. Many of them are just horrible. Let me show you how bad they are. And then you will realize that is it really worth buying cheap manual meat grinders for making burgers or sausages? No, buy the electronic stuff and save yourself a lot of trouble and difficulties. So let's see. This is 860 grams of pork flesh. Let's see if it will. Grind. Last time I tried it didn't work. See. It's rusted. Can you see how badly it is rusted? I only washed it once. It's rusted. Ah, please do be a little patient because I want to show you the difficulties of using a manual meat grinder. So now I'm just putting in pure meat to see how it will. It's partly frozen, so that should be even better. Make sure your meat is partly frozen and cut into small pieces so that they can be put into the hopper of the grinder and uh, it can grind uh, better. Uh, it'll be easier to grind uh, partially frozen meat than to grind uh, soft flesh. As you can see, there is no uh, stopper to or plunger to plunge the meat into the hopper and I have to use my hand to cover it to prevent the meat from coming out. Can you see the first few bits of meat are discolored? That is because it has been cleaning the rust from the plate. So that part has to be removed. It keeps coming back out. I couldn't see it because I was standing at the back of the grinder. But after watching the video, I removed those pieces of discolored mincemeat. See, it's not going in. So dangerous to use. Got to put my fingers in so close to the screw thread you can observe how dangerous it is because my fingers are almost at the extruder screw thread and if i'm not careful or if two people are doing this operation one is turning the handle the other is pushing meat into he can easily damage his fingers this is why a plunger is very important so that the plunger comes in contact with the screw thread of the extruder not your fingers so be careful when you choose a meat grinder You can observe that I am struggling to push the meat back into the extruder screw thread. It shouldn't be done this way. 
the meat should automatically flow through the mincer and get minced out. This is another problem that you will notice with poor quality design. The vice grip cannot hold on to the table and that makes it even more difficult to grind meat. flowing back. Nothing is moving forward. Very little. You can see a lot of meat, really mashed up meat coming out from the hopper. This is backflow. That means the meat couldn't go out of the grinder as ground meat, but it has come back out where you put in meat. As you can see, this is very low quality meat. It is completely smashed up and not ground meat. Smashed up. This is the back flow. This one is it comes here and then it comes to the on the outside. It will come back and come out here. Because the design of this thing is so bad. You can see the faster I go the more comes out. If I do it slowly, nothing really comes out. Don't be surprised. It looks simple and easy and cheap to use, but it is really tiresome and can be exhausting if you have a lot of meat to grind. I've learned is if you over grind the, the meat it loses all its flavor it must be some lumpiness in it solid pieces of meat in it if it's too finely grained there's no flavor left in the meat now let's see what happens when I take this out Last time, all the tissue, uh, what do you call it, the pop fat and the skin, uh, more like, it's not really skin but fibrous tissue, like tendons and all that got stuck and closed the holes, sealed up all the holes so nothing will come out. That's when I learned about, don't put fatty meat in this grinder let's remove this my advice to you is don't buy this rubbish coming from China they are not designed properly see the meat won't come out Okay, see, this is connective tissue for the meat. This is what gets stuck inside and won't come out, and it'll block the holes. Oops. So flimsy, this is a can come off. It's not worth it. If you want to buy a good electrical mincer grinder, uh, I bought one some time back. 500 ringgit. That's about 125 US, 130 US. On the third try, it's from South Korea. On the third use, it burned up. 
and no one I bought from uh, 11street.com.my don't buy anything from them they wouldn't repair it they wouldn't uh, two years I argued with them explained to them okay, return it let me return it will they fix it they wouldn't fix it they just said hey how is good is our service is it good that's all they kept saying for the next two years don't trust those guys many people are telling you selling shit in this country just be careful huh? absolute rubbish what are you gonna do there is no law to sue them there's nothing you can do you buy you pay your money it's gone they say no warranty everything from China has no warranty so when you take it out of the box and uh, doesn't work you lost your money you wasted your money don't buy such rubbish from China it's a scam now let me wash this all up okay this is what I want to show you about this design why there is a back back flow meat coming out from here from there instead of going down and coming out here it is coming back here can you see how much play there is So the meat comes to here, it can't go forward, so it flows back, flows back and comes out, comes out here. So this is a poor quality design. Uh, do check when you buy a, if you buy a manual grinder, but my advice to you is don't buy manual grinders. They are all the cheap stuff is coming from China and eventually you will have problems, whatever you do. So. The best thing is buy electron electrical grinder from a reputable company see? and it gets narrower can you see it gets narrower only here is big but even that is not big enough to to block this thing so much space for it to slide in it should fit neatly or very closely so that the meat doesn't turn around and back flow so see what's happening is the meat is being pushed out right here pushed out here as it is as the thing turns it, it pushes out the meat right see what is here as I move my hand you can see it's coming forward right and it gets pushed out but when there is a gap here between the screw and the wall of the screw, right? There's a little bit of gap there. The back flow, the meat can come back out here, and it comes out here, it comes out, and it comes out of the what do you call it? Where you put in the meat, and there's no and there's no plunger design for this to close, close it, and prevent the meat from coming out. So, don't buy. See, proudly they have explained, made in China, but it doesn't work. It's just a waste of money. So I washed the meat grinder and I want to show you how I used it to make sausages. So for making sausages, what we do is, it's empty. So I got these metal separate metal tubes separately. Right, uh, this is not plugged in. The uh, what do you call it? And the blade, so it doesn't grind. Right, so you put the mincemeat into this hopper and turn the screw and let it come out. Uh, the problem you will find is that the sausage skin thickness must be much bigger than this thickness right and uh, if not you find you're struggling to put it in 
and struggling to for it to come out and all the nonsense now the other thing i want to show i i bought this manual green uh, manual meat grinder because i want to make sausages so that is the reason I bought three different sizes as you can see I bought three different sizes but I made one mistake when I bought this I didn't check the inner diameter what was the inner diameter okay most of them that are sold on Lazada are 5.7 centimeters so if it's bigger or smaller you're gonna have trouble finding sausage tubes to make sausages I spent about almost two weeks to find this size I think this is 6.2 or 6.3 centimeters and this is the only one I think one or two supplies out of I think hundreds who are supplying sausage tubes stuff, sausage stuffer tubes okay so uh, be careful what you're buying uh, if you best to buy electrical meat grinder with ready-made sausage stuffing tubes okay you may never use sausages you may never make the sausages but one day when you decide you want to make sausage then you find you have the correct size tubes right so it is important to verify that you got this diameter cut common and you have the tubes to fit the diameter many of them wouldn't fit mine because they were a bit too small or a bit too big right so uh, that's one thing I want to inform you about oh, one more thing I want to inform you is uh, about the sausage stuffing when you make sausages right your skin will be all the way up here and as you turn with this machine it's very difficult because the overflow will come out through the hopper instead of coming out through the sausage tube but if you get something that works properly without any problems you will find that it will fill the sausages all the way and then once you have run out of meat you open up and there is sausage material meat filling this whole place right how do you get rid of that they don't provide you with a plunger to remove that right so uh, think about it uh, whether if you have uh, a piece of wood that fits into here to force the meat out you don't want to wash it and throw away the meat right so just a little warning about what are the problems you will face when you use a meat grinder which nobody talks about I have not seen I've watched many videos on meat grinding and I have never seen one that mentions this problem maybe I'm a novice at making sausages but there must be a solution for it right I know one guy who uses bread put it in out through but how much bread do you gonna are you gonna put inside all the way through you can't this 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 thing doesn't like bread because uh, I tried it once this bread will come up to here and the meat will go behind and catch at the back so yeah, don't buy all this rubbish from China just to show you what I've been doing lately the last one to two months I've run um, maybe 10 experiments running uh, making sausages and over the last two uh, about two months and I stopped I used the manual mic meat grinder grinder once after I gave up and I started using my food processor it's better to pass the meat because when I use one or two very quickly 
the meat becomes overground and uh, when that happens it becomes uh, powdery when you cook it you find it's powdery meat it's not a meaty texture and the flavor is gone so be very careful if you are using a food processor pulse pulsing it's more tedious to use uh, if you're pulsing but at least you will get the correct uh, a better texture not an overground texture uh, I will test out the burgers afterwards and see whether I I over ground it on the manual grinder let me tell you a little secret that I've discovered don't put too much spice in your burgers because they will cover up the meat flavor so minimize the amount of spice maybe a half a percent spice weight compared to the weight of the meat itself and that will give you quite nice tasting meaty flavor burgers